Although yellow labs and golden retrievers do kind of look like cousins, there's a big difference in their coats that might surprise you. And if you want a more go with the flow dog, then one of these dogs is a much better choice for you than the other. You'll see golden retrievers serving as sweet therapy dogs, cheering people up in hospitals and nursing homes. And you'll see Labradors helping differently abled people lead independent lives and think, hey, these two dogs are pretty similar. It's true. They were both originally bred to work with people, but how they're used today has changed. This brings us into the first difference, their jobs. Both golden retrievers and labs were originally bred to be hunting dogs. Golden retrievers originated in Scotland and Labrador retrievers originated in Canada. They each have double coats to keep them warm in the cold water, and they even have webbed feet so that they can swim better. Today, they're still both used as hunting dogs, although labs are more commonly used as hunting partners than golden retrievers. They're also both used as service dogs, but again, labs are more common than golden retrievers in this role. Labradors are just better workers, which takes us to this next difference, their personalities. Labradors are more strong-willed. Part of the reason they're such great workers is that they've got a great work ethic and they're very driven. Golden retrievers, on the other hand, are more like fluffy goofballs. They want to play more and mix it up. They just want to be loved and give love, which is what makes them such great therapy dogs. Another trait that makes both of these dogs such good workers is this next one, ease of training. According to Dr. Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, golden retrievers are the fourth smartest dog breed, while Labradors are the seventh. They were both bred to work with people, they love treats, and they like to learn, which all makes them easier to train than most other breeds. But even though golden retrievers are smarter than labs, Labradors are easier to train because of their intense work ethic and their focus. And because they're both easy to train, that's what makes them great for this next point, how good they are with families. This is the first of a few similarities between Golden Retrievers and Labs. Goldens and Labs are both great family dogs. They're loving, loyal, and they just want to hang with their families. Plus, they're gentle and intuitive, so they're good for families with kids. This is a big part of what has made the Labrador the AKC's most popular breed in America for 30 years in a row. Although Golden Retrievers aren't too far behind as the fourth smartest dog breed. But even though their loyalty and love for people make them great family dogs, there is one thing that can make having one of these dogs in your house tough, especially if you have little kids, and that is their size. Golden Retrievers and Labs are both medium to large dogs, so they can easily knock over little kids if they're not careful. Male Golden Retrievers stand about 23 to 24 inches tall and usually weigh 65 to 75 pounds. Female golden retrievers are usually 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall and weigh 55 to 65 pounds. Labs are slightly bigger. The males are usually 22 and a half to 24 and a half inches tall and weigh in at 65 to 80 pounds. Female Labradors are usually 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches tall and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. Does this mean that labs and goldens can't be bigger or smaller than this? Of course not. Many people are actually breeding bigger dogs these days, which is not good. But the numbers I just mentioned are from the AKC breed standard for each of these breeds. So why is it bad that people are breeding bigger dogs? According to a study from the Golden Retriever Club of America, taller Golden Retrievers have a shorter lifespan. Plus, both of these breeds commonly suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia, and the heavier they are, the higher the chances that they're going to suffer from that are. I'll drop a link to the study about taller golden retrievers in the description, but if you find a breeder that brags about how big their golden retrievers are, then you might want to find another one. Golden retrievers and labs aren't just good dogs for families with kids though. They're also great for families with multiple dogs or other animals. Both golden retrievers and labs are friendly with other dogs. We did a study where we found that 31.6% of golden retriever owners have more than one dog. They can also be good with cats and other animals because they have a relatively low prey drive. Yes, they were bred to help hunters, but they were only bred to retrieve birds once they were shot. Dogs, like beagles on the other hand, were actually bred to go find small game, so they have much higher prey drives and are more likely to chase other small animals in the house like cats or guinea pigs. In the same study I mentioned earlier, we found that 25% of golden retriever owners also have a cat. So far, all the similarities between these two have been good things, but this next one is not so good if you like to chill and watch Netflix all day. Let's talk about their energy levels. I've mentioned several times that both Goldens and Labs were bred to be hunting dogs. They were made to run through fields and over hills, and swim through ponds and marshes. That's hard work, 
So it's literally in their blood to have lots of energy and endurance. Now their extra energy alone is fine, but if you like to relax at home all day, your dog is gonna get bored and restless. This is where problems start to happen. Barking, digging, jumping, chewing up everything in your house, or any other unwanted habits can all occur in a bored dog with pent up energy. So if you decide that a golden retriever or a Labrador is the right dog for you, plan to give them about one to two hours of exercise each day so that their exercise needs are met. If you don't meet their needs, well, maybe you'll be struggling with this next difference. Barking. Here's the good news. Because golden retrievers and labs were both bred to help hunt birds, neither of them typically bark very much. If they did bark in the field, they'd scare all the birds away. But when it comes to which breed barks less, that award goes to the golden retriever. It's a slight edge, and there are always exceptions, but most Goldens don't bark very much. You can learn about their differences in barking by googling Golden Retriever versus Labrador and clicking on the article from Golden Hearts. Now it's a good thing they won this one, because the next trait they're definitely not winning. Grooming. Golden Retrievers have beautiful flowing coats, but those coats are a lot of work. They'll need to be brushed two to four times a week, while Labs will only need to be brushed one to two times a week. Plus, if your dog decides that they want to go play in the mud, I sure hope that you have a lab, because cleaning mud and dirt out of a lab's coarse coat is a lot easier than cleaning up a Golden's fluffy mud-absorbing coat. As far as other grooming activities go, both breeds will need their floppy ears cleaned, their teeth brushed, and their nails trimmed. But there are more differences in their coats than just how much you need to brush them. The most obvious difference is their color. Golden Retrievers come in some shade of gold, from light cream to gold to rich red. Labradors come in three separate colors, yellow, black, and chocolate. And I mentioned that labs have coarse coats, while goldens have soft coats, and one weird result of this is how they fall on your floor. Both of these breeds shed a ton because of their double coats, but the soft golden retriever hairs will clump together into little golden tumbleweeds. The coarse Labrador hairs scatter all around the house, so it's actually easier to clean up golden retriever hair than it is for Labrador hair. This next point is a little sad, but really important to know, and the one after that is something that most dog owners overlook and will save you a ton of heartbreak if you know before you get a dog. Now let's talk about cancer. According to a study done at Cambridge on the cancer rate in dogs, golden retrievers have a 38% cancer rate, while labs only have a 31% cancer rate. If you crunch the numbers, that means that golden retrievers have a 23% higher chance of cancer than labs, and that's based on a study from England. Studies in America have found that the cancer rate is even higher in Goldens, but you can learn more about that in the next video about American vs. English Golden Retrievers. Now there are some things you can do to decrease your dog's risk of cancer, like waiting longer to spay or neuter them, and I'll put a link for you down in the description so that you can read more about it. But enough of all the sadness, let's talk about something that most dog owners don't really plan out, which ends up being one of the main reasons people have to abandon their dogs, and that is price. Golden Retrievers are more expensive than Labs. Prices vary depending on what the dogs are bred for and where the breeder is located, but you can expect to spend about $1,000 to $3,000 on a Lab and $1,500 to $4,000 on a Golden Retriever. Here's the problem though, that's just the initial price. After you bring your pup home, you'll spend almost $2,000 per year on your dog, between their food, their vet visits, their toys, treats, taking them to the groomers, and other services that they'll need. Most people don't realize how expensive dogs are, so the cost of owning a dog is one of the main reasons people have to abandon them. If you do decide one of these breeds is right for you, then be prepared to spend about $2,000 per year on them. I mentioned that there are some strange differences between American and English Golden Retrievers, and you can watch that video next to learn more about them. Have you had either of these breeds? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Golden Retriever videos, and I'll see you in the next one.